One job, DJ. To make their quota with one black dude on the show. And he's like, okay. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. He's into that. Uh, man, I'm, I'm a little down right now just to visit my friend in the hospital, man. And he's, he's doing all right. Uh, I really hope he gets better. I loaned him like $50 last week. I just would hate to. <laughs> Went there, was talking to him. Hey, how's everything going? Oh, okay. A lot of support. People sending you cards. Are you putting your like, gift cards in them? Or? <laughs> I'm just checking, make sure they're taking care of you. You should get back out there and work, buddy. <laughs> I know you guys heard that John Grimes thing was like, oh, John Grimes, like a hipster, 6'3 guy, about to walk out. You see me, and you're like, Really? Wow, I'm, right. I'm just surprised at how many white people are in the room. So I'm like, <laughs> playing B jokes. <laughs> What's up with the 405, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's a couple? Anybody couples close by? Who's a couple? Nobody's a couple. You two right here? No. Okay, cool. That's appropriate. Uh, you guys have to like drive around trying to find somewhere to like have sex in the car? You ever do that? And then you can't ever find anywhere? You're just like nervous? Like stop like, there's a dog right there. Let's keep moving. It's not a regular dog. It's probably like scruff and gruff. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Let's just keep moving. Oh my goodness. Sex is fun though, right? We all like sex a little bit. Uh, I don't like music with sex. I'm sure everybody can answer that question. You guys like music with sex? Yes. Yes. All women say yes. Dudes don't. <laughs> There's a reason now. Like, a chick puts on Pandora, has sex, and like I'm done before the first commercial. So I'm like, shit. <laughs> I had to like change this. I'm like, do you have the uh, membership? Did you subscribe to it? <laughs> and free, that's crazy. And free. Oh, I gotta get that. Man, give me a password. She's like, yo, just four songs. Four songs? New record, wow. That's how I am. You guys like these? Well, more white people chucks. I'm just kidding. He uh, stayed this girl who would, she couldn't cook. She couldn't cook. Well, it's not that she couldn't cook, she could only make one thing well. And I didn't notice that she was making me the same dinner because she would rearrange the food on the plate every time. <laughs> so, oh, steak, potatoes, carrots, cool. Carrots, potatoes, steak, uh. And then like one day she did steak, potatoes, carrots again. I'm like, hey, did you make this yesterday? And then like fucking inception happened. Like the table rose up, the cabinets exploded. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Never saw her again, I don't know. It was a dream. I never saw a little thing spin, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think Jesus would have a really cool Instagram, you know? <laughs> Who could top that? First of all, he's got followers. <laughs> a lot of followers, guys. A lot of followers. Who's not going to follow Jesus, right? <laughs> Kayla Jenner got like two million followers in like, the, like two hours or something like that. Jesus would easily get a billion in a day. <laughs> Light work. Uh, and he would just have the best posts, you know? Especially like on the like Throwback Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, oh, Throwback Thursday, the one time I made water into wine. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag bottle service, Jesus does it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does it again. Yeah, it's like, oh, Flashback Friday, the one time I walked on water, this motherfucker was doubting me. <laughs> Uh, uh, and then he goes for the killer, right? He's like, finally, throw back Thursday again. That one time everybody thought I died, but I just took the weekend off. What? <laughs> risen? Hashtag risen? What are you talking about, guys? We're talking about Jesus. If you guys have a couple minutes to talk about Jesus after the show, I'd love to do that with you as well. So <laughs> can pass out. <laughs> Smart guy, I think I'm a smart guy, but I do not know what the broil option is on my oven. Like, <laughs> who uses that? Does anybody use broil? I don't want to risk it, right? It just seems like something like, mm. like I put a pizza in there, and I'm like, so this 
shit on top is supposed to cook. Like it's just supposed to, that seems like a smarter option to bake this pizza with, but I don't want to risk a pizza to find out that it's broiled and it takes it to like a fourth dimension or some shit. You really want to, Narnia, you come back, the pizza's burnt, you're like, what the hell did I do that for? You ever broil anything again? Oh, goodness. Uh, I'm having a good time, guys. Um, I'm, I got a new pickup line. It's uh, it's not at the club. It's not at the club. I just go to gas stations. <laughs> you guys are familiar. I'm not a vegetable uh, <laughs> for the pay for the girl's gas. I'm like, hey, how much you need? 20? Go on, be right back. Go buy it. She's going to take it. LA chicks are broke. Most LA chicks are broke. They're all baristas, you know? <laughs> We're quiet over there. Some baristas over there? <laughs> Uh, I didn't even know what that was. I was dating the chick for five months before I found out that chick was a fucking coffee maker. I told, I told my mom, like, I'm dating the barista. She's like, oh, she sounds nice. Where's that? I'm like, I don't know. I think it's an island somewhere. Baristian? Baristian? It's gotta be somewhere in Hawaii. Honolulu, Barista, Barista. I don't know. All her coworkers were from the same place. I'm like, oh my god, all you guys are Baristian. That's crazy. <laughs> Out here. <laughs> awesome. So awesome. Um, what do I have you, uh, you know what? I live in LA, and my favorite part about living in LA is every once in a while I get to participate in what I like to call a crushed dream cell. Now, what that is, is that every once in a while on my elevator, somebody posts this ad like, hey, moving out of the city, selling everything, text me for prices. And I'm like, oh. Cell. <laughs> Let me go check it out. So I go to this door. I'm like, hey, you gonna post that ad? Yeah, yeah, what's going on? You moving? Mm, where you from? Michigan. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Were you a singer or act? Oh, you look like a singer. Wow, that's crazy. That is really crazy. Oh. So it didn't work out for you, huh? It happens, it happens. Uh, you listed this couch for 80, I can give you 40 for it. If you throw in that ottoman and that mini fridge, we'll make it around 75, let's do it. Don't argue with me, you don't have a lot of time left. So. Cool, cool, great, I'll start moving this. Uh, thank you so much. You stay warm this winter in Michigan. I know it gets cold up there. Uh, it's sad, guys. Like, my apartment looks like the Ikea of failures. <laughs> Every person that ever failed in I have their furniture. <laughs> so what I'm saying is good luck, but not really, you know? In case you have a really nice couch, I need it. I'll be there for you. <laughs> All right. So um, I was in a line at McDonald's, and I uh, heard this guy say, I love Mac sauce. I put it on pussy. And I was like, <laughs> nah, man. nah, man. Um, but it got me thinking, like, what would my flavor be? Like, that's, I can't just say something like that. If it doesn't hit you, just saying, well, shit, he's got a flavor. I want a flavor. Uh, and I thought about it for a little bit while I was in line, and I got it. I think I would go for it. The top ramen shrimp packet flavor. <laughs> shake it down to the bottom. Gotta shake it. You can't just waste sauce. You shake it. Then you like, you know, you know how you shake that sauce out of there. Right on your lady. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has an idea. Thank you later. I'll be outside talking about Jesus and top ramen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fun, guys. You guys are a great crowd. I thought Pasadena was just. <laughs> <laughs> you changed it for me. You changed it for me. 